Hi, I'm Davis. And I'm Andy, and I got a big ass hammer. And we're the game grazers. <laughs> Slowly chewing our way through stuff. Yes. Um The Bowels of Mars. Bowels. Oh, more flatus. Oh god. <laughs> I don't want to know what you had for dinner tonight, do I? Uh we had pasta. It was like an Alfredo. It was it's really good. Actually. Pretty good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want a hard hat. Where the fuck's my hard hat? Uh, Toledo. <laughs> oh, he's got no foot. Oh shit! Fucker's invisible. He's oh, got a stealth boy going. That's uh, good. yeah, that is not good, Darius. Wow, well, good shot. Gotta love auto aim. Well, I'll show you toxic. That was easy. So apparently you have venom in your blood. I've got tiger blood, motherfucker. Are you Charlie Sheen? I'm winning. <laughs> I've got I've got tiger blood and HIV in me. Ugh. That sounds like a terrible combination. I got it from a tiger. Oh, man. Wow, this is really making my eyes trip out. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. It, it, it is a little, uh, gobbledygookity. Okay, what am I, why am I building this stuff, and why do I, oh my god. Uh, find the corporal. I thought that was the corporal that was in pieces on the ground. No, your, your little objective thing says find the corporal. Not find the corporeal body of a dead man. That was my next thing, was corporeal. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it's all gassy. It's gassy. It's like, I think he's got flatus on Mars. <laughs> Come on. Oh, what the? I wonder what like the actual like atmospheric like composition is on Mars. I know it's like really thin, so we can't breathe there. But like, if if we were able to breathe the thin atmosphere of Mars, could we actually breathe it? There's probably not much oxygen because there's no plant life. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. I think that there's just I should know this stuff, but I don't. <laughs> but we don't. All I know is I think if I went there, I would die. Yes. And um, Matt Damon went there, but he got back somehow. I'm not sure how yet. Yeah, I haven't seen the movie. Spoilers. Oh, actually, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying, I assumed he got back. Because, oh. I mean, he really is back. I've seen yeah. pictures of him. So. Wow. Corporal. Where the fuck are you, Corporal? <laughs> I'm not doing this for my fucking health. You're shooting monsters. Oh, my God. So many monsters. Like... When I read the descriptions and like tweets for this thing, I'm like, I have no idea what to tweet because all you do in this game is shoot ugly monsters. And I can't really tell. I can't. It's hard to. Uh, it's hard you could to say I'm, I'm not shooting pretty monsters. <laughs> that, this is true. I should say that. Not shooting pretty monsters. Oh, another hard hat area. Where's Osha when I need him? Oh, so did you hear that they cast uh, Simon Pegg match. in Ready Player One? Yes. Play. So have you read that book? No. I read I the not. book. It's actually a really easy read, and it's a fun book. Um, I am, and, and I guess Steven Spielberg's the one who's uh, directing, right? Is he? I, I don't know. So. I, I haven't been following. I, I knew, I knew you had interest in in that film. That was like, that was that really uh, struck a chord for me because that's when I grew up. So a lot of that stuff, um, that was my childhood. You know, war games, um, text adventures and computers. Oh yeah. Um, all that crap. Uh, just lots of that. It is dark. You are likely to be eaten by a Gru. Right, exactly. Did you play, did you play Zork? I did way, way back in the day, but uh, man, it's been a long time. So when we had the first game night at work, it was retro game night, and someone had actually brought in an old like computer, and we actually played Zork. Yeah. It's like so. So me and another Mr. Murphy at at work were like trying to draw out a map of where we we're going. We we're actually like <laughs> trying to like really actually play it because I. <laughs> Like, when I was, like, a kid, I just, like, played it, like, at random. Like, oh, I'm going to go here. I'm going to do this. You know, it was really fun and interesting, but, like, now as an adult, like, I kind of want to actually, like, go and, like, try and legit play it. Right. Go back and... and do it the old school way. Like, draw out a map, try and figure out where I am, where I'm going, where did I get where. Mm-hmm. That kind of thing. Well, I don't think it's aged particularly well, so... Considering it's just text and text inputs, I would say you are correct in that assumption. <laughs> Shouldn't our next uh, course of action... Um, I have been compiling uh, 
I, I want to do another kind of special video. I, I know I need to get back to how to win a punch out. That has been long standing. Uh -huh. But I kind of want to do like a list of like my favorite Final Fantasy games. Okay. And it was like, and the first Final Fantasy game I played was Final Fantasy. And it's like, I don't think there's any real merit in playing the original Final Fantasy today, except for more of a historical curiosity. Right. And that's the same reason I would mostly play Zork. Purely out of historical curiosity. Yeah, it. Final Fantasy 1 has not aged spectacularly well. It's really super grindy, back to that discussion. Yes, it is. And the story's really simplistic. There's just, there's not, and it's also really hard, and, and um, there's no MP mechanic. It's spells per day, so if you don't, you if you use up all your spells, there's no real way to regenerate them. Yeah. So if you go into a long dungeon, it's kind of probably, so it's, it is one of those games where I feel that because of its age and the system was on, it has a lot of that artificial difficulty inflation that NES was plagued with. That's right. Um, so if you wanted to play the original NES copy of Final Fantasy, I highly recommend it from a from a historical standpoint as a study of, of game design, but I would not necessarily recommend it as a fun experience. <laughs> Purely as a historical uh, exercise. It's still better than uh, Final Fantasy 8 and 13, though. <laughs> Ouch. I, I will lambast those two un until the cows come home. <laughs> no matter how many belts and buckles there are on the characters. <laughs> I, I, I know I'm probably spoiling how some commentary for for that if I ever if I ever do it, but it's just like I feel like eight took a lot of the things from seven that were the wrong lessons. <laughs> like moody heroes. Like I played Final Fantasy VIII for maybe about like three hours. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, what? Mm -hmm. I, I I cared so little about the the story and the characters. Like none of it was interesting to me at all. <laughs> it was just a pile of blah wow. to me. And I and the not to mention the the, the combat system was so freaking convoluted. Uh, yeah. Where are we? At least thirteen had some interesting characters I cared about. But I just couldn't care about the story in that game because it was so like, that was really convoluted. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like, I just cannot keep track of anything going on in that game. Hmm. Um, yeah, to me, because uh, I can't judge 2 and 12 because I really haven't played them. But to me, Massacre. 8 and 13 are the only objectively bad Final Fantasies. Okay. Um, so, are you, and when you say that, you mean you mean they're just bad, like, in, in the realm of all video games or bad in terms of Final Fantasy games? I, I Both. Okay. Like... I, I would not recommend 13 as an enjoyable experience to any gamer. Uh-huh. Um, because I, because they, I feel like they just learn all the wrong lessons. Yeah. Part of, part of what I love about Final Fantasy, especially my two favorites, is the stories are complex, but easy to follow, and they're filled with interesting in characters and situations. Okay. Um, I don't want to... Should I should I mention what they are? Or should I just wait to try and actually make a list? I would just mention it because you're probably going to go back and be like, "Oh, I forgot this one and that one." Yeah. Um, oh. My 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 two favorites are of the main series Final Fantasies are four and six, which is kind of weird. Like, four has a lot of my favorite stuff. It has my favorite characters. It has my favorite like, scenes. It has my favorite music. But it just I feel like the game overall is a less is slightly lesser than six. Six as a whole package was just incredible. Right. Um. Those are some big hulking dudes. Yeah, and again, I think I'm about to have to bust out with my hammer. Time to drop the hammer. the hammer. <laughs> Is that your ban hammer? My ban hammer. You you are banning these monsters from the plane of existence. I am. Oh, did you see my feet on that yeah. one? I like. I'm still not like. I've been trying to follow what's going on. I still have no idea why these monsters are even here. Because it's Mars, man. Why, why does Mars have monsters? Why does Mars have graboids? Do graboids come from Mars? <laughs> oh, now that... Now you're talking fan fiction there. Oh, man. no. Well, actually, if you watch Tremors 2, they explain that the graboids are from Earth, and they are pre-Cambrian animals. They are some of the oldest living creatures on Earth. Oh, wow. Yes, I am familiar with the lore of Tremors. Wow, you're a nerd. That was never in question. <laughs> Just look at my shelf. Another beacon. True. It is full of amiibo. It has a plush delivery Moogle from Final Fantasy XIV. I have a Disgaea art book. 
I have Ghostbusters comics. I have all sorts of things. Also, next time on Game Grazers. I'm going to build me some steps, motherfucker. You building some stairs? Thanks for listening. Woo!